Continuing our conversation with Ishmael Khaldi, policy advisor to the Foreign Minister of Israel. Uh, before your current position, you were Deputy Consul General here in, in San Francisco. And of course, economic development is the mission of consuls all over the world. And Israel, as you referred to a moment ago, has been spectacularly successful in developing uh, biotech industry, uh, uh, computers, cell phone stuff. So many things were invented in Israel, this tiny little country. Uh, it's quite remarkable. But uh, speak to the economic uh, opportunities in Israel vis-a-vis uh, -vis America. Okay, yes, the Silicon Valley in, in uh, Northern California is uh, blessed with the best uh, uh, minds on the, face, on the face of earth with uh, Israeli engineers, high-tech scientists. Uh, you know, their, their contribution to humanity is, is, is remarkable. That's what makes us all a very a proud to be Israelis. Uh, not only here, but also in Israel. And you also encourage American countries to consider development, economic opportunities in Israel. Of course, you know, there are uh, you know, endless uh, projects going on, uh, joint projects between Israel and, and, and America in all fields, not only in high tech. What always struck me is the lost opportunity with this continuing uh, divide in the Middle East between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Is it not true that the Israelis would, if, if we could come to some kind of settlement, would be willing to to share their expertise in water and minerals and everything else with their Arab neighbors? You know, the, the Middle East can be an oasis uh, to live in. Again, Israel is doing its uh, part uh, since 1993 when the peace process started with the Palestinians. But still, you know, the Palestinians are them among themselves are not, you know, divided. The Arab leaders are divided among themselves when it comes to Israel. Well, there are political forces at work that, uh, that benefit certain countries by keeping the, the pot stirred. But uh, uh, I, th I think it's long overdue that we reach a settlement. Now, the foreign minister who you work for uh, said uh, in the last month that there would not be a Palestinian state for the next two years. Isn't that a somewhat harsh statement? Well, he, he tried to be uh, very realistic. And uh, reality is painful sometimes. If you look at from 1993, when the peace process started with the Palestinians in Oslo, until now, we are unfortunately still wallowing on the same mud. Look what we see now. Palestinians, no one uh, united leadership, and it's very hard to reach an agreement with them. He said, let's be realists. We wish, we hope that it will happen tomorrow morning. We want to reach a two-state solution with the Palestinians, but it's not happening. He doesn't think that until 2012, this can be possible. If yes, would be, Israel would be the first. So he doesn't have any objection to it. He just doesn't think as a practical matter it's Ex likely. Exactly. You know, we, the, the main issue is, is the reconciliation between Hamas and the Fatah, the two main organizations aspiring to lead the Palestinians. Egypt is trying to help them settle the, uh, their own measures, matters and issues. And Israel is ready at, at any time. Well, there are some hopeful signs in the Fatah leadership with internal economic development uh, that, uh, that maybe there can be some, some movement there. And uh, I know this is an ongoing process, but it's, uh, it's not easy. If it was easy, it probably would have been done a long time ago. It's not easy, but tell you, I think that, yes, the, if you look at the West Bank, uh, where the more moderate uh, Palestinian leaders uh, are uh, controlling the area, the West Bank has the highest uh, economical, economic uh, growth rate, in, I think, in the entire Arab world. There's no other Arab country that have the same high growth rate annually. 2009, I think it stood for about 8 or 9 percent. That's huge. Israel is doing its part, trying to help them. There are Palestinians who are you know, open-minded, who yes. are uh, economic growth and welfare are on their top priorities. And those are the people who will bring hope for their own people. And is Israel reaching out to the, the Fatah leadership and the moderate elements to try and bring them closer together? 
Israel is ready to speak to anybody that the Palestinians choose to have as leaders for the benefit of both sides. Even for the Hamas, Israel at the time said, we are ready to speak with them, but if they uh, accept Israel's right to exist, stop the incitement and respect the agreements that Israel had with the former Palestinian Authority, which are much more uh, moderate. Many issues to speak about. It's not easy at many cases, but we have to speak. If we talk, we can you know, reach a agreement. And on that thought, we'll take a pause. Stay with us for the remaining portions of Straight Talk. Phil Trainees mixes California style with continental cuisine that includes fresh seafood from around the world. Since Phil is the chef, the menu has a wide variety of pastas, salads, soups, and appetizers that feature his unique personal touch. And the Italian-American signature dishes are simply beyond delicious. You never know who you're going to run into at trainees, from the famous sports legends on the Wall of Fame to local celebrities having a drink at the bar. For the best fine dining experience, visit Phil Trainees. At Performance Plus Tire, you'll find we carry Toyo tires. For over 50 years, Toyo has been a world leader in the development of high-quality tires. Optimum performance, safety, and a comfortable ride. That's what makes Toyo tires great. And now come into Performance Plus Tire for a great deal on these Toyo tires. Proxies ST, Open Country AT, and Proxies 4. Toyo tires, driven to perform. Come in today and we'll install new Toyo tires on your vehicle while you wait. Performance Plus Tire on Cherry Avenue, one mile north of the 405 in Long Beach. When I was a boy growing up in Italy, I had a dream to own my own store. I came to the United States and I worked hard as a tailor. Hi, I'm Umberto. I've been in Long Beach since 1960, carrying the finest quality men's clothing. It was a long way away, but styles are just around the corner. Umberto, 2141 Belfar, Long Beach. <laughs> 